Assalamu alaikum, my friends. Uh, today we have in uh, uh, sweet and salt together, which is uh, lamb, lamb shanks with prawn, prawns and almonds and sesame seed. So welcome and let's move on and share and show you guys how we prepare this delicious and delicate and uh, exotic dish. Of course, it is a Moroccan dish. Welcome, my friends. Stay tuned. Let's move to the kitchen and share with you guys how we come up with this beautiful dish. Assalamu alaikum. We have five, actually about six and a half pounds of meat, lamb shanks. We have half a tablespoon of cinnamon, grounded cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, one spoon turmeric, one spoon ginger, one cup of uh, vegetable oil. We got shredded uh, garlic, one tablespoon of pepper, of course, parsley and salt. And I have three onions here, three whole onions. It doesn't matter if it's red, yellow, onions, just need onions. Bismillah ala barakatillah, let's start. Now we're gonna move into uh, marinating our meat. So I'm gonna need my cup of vegetable oil. And if you wanna use olive oil, you're welcome to do so. I'm gonna use my cinnamon. I'm gonna use the ginger, turmeric, pepper, And of course, the salt. I think I'm gonna use another tablespoon of salt. It is not enough. So two tablespoons of salt. There we go. All right, Bismillah ala barakatillah. Now I'm gonna start marinating our lamb. We're gonna marinate the lamb. As you know, in every household, in American household, this can want to be a lamb tagine. So I'm gonna use this tagine. But first, I will marinate our lamb. Bismillah. Don't be afraid. Use your hands. Let me get you like this closer to this. Now, Bismillah. We're gonna marinate our lamb just like this. pieces of chunk of lamb. Now keep marinating our lamb. As you see, really beautiful texture. I couldn't cut them really, they're too hard. So I left these just like this, just like this. Large and big because my kids like them just like that. And these are a little big and large, but it really was hard to... I'm gonna move it here to get the other one. There we go. As you see, perfect. Just because this thing is a little small. all this pretty texture marination there we go so don't be afraid to use your hands and just everything we prepare is with our hands it's okay just make sure you wash your hands frequently and this is the tagine. Now, we have talked about the tagine before. Uh, the tagine is a Moroccan famous dish. It's a clay dish. So I'm going to cook it slow in my Moroccan tagine. Bismillah. I will put all of my big pieces first. And uh, this is a big tagine. But still, the pieces that I have are big as well. So hopefully I will not have any problems. There we go. 
I will move it shortly to the fire to cook and slow. So whatever you do, if you don't have the tagine, it's okay. You can use any pot that you have. You can use any pot that you have. It does not have to be exactly the tagine. All right, now I will transform our pot. Okay, as you see, I have transformed our pot and moved it to the stove. I have low heat, as you see, as low as possible. So this beautiful dish of lamb, it will approximately cook for at least two to three hours on a low heat. So if you have charcoal and you want to use charcoal, it's the best. But again, don't get alarmed. You do not have to have this exact tagine. You can use ceramic pots or you can use a regular pot. You can use a regular pot as well. So if you don't have this, you can use this. Not, not a big deal. Now, Okay, assalamu alaikum. Now, bismillah ala barakatillah. Now we're gonna add our uh, onion. I have three whole middle-sized onion. So I'm gonna add that in that. Give me a second, Yusuf. And our garlic, of course. Our garlic. And I have fresh parsley. I'm gonna add it in there as well. And let it all just cook smoothly cook beautiful on a low heat just like i showed you guys i'm going to show you guys how low it is it's very low so i have it on a seven so the highest it's it's on the low between yeah it's very low heat so please remember what i said very low close our tajin and let it cook nicely And let's check our beautiful texture, lamb. Yep, it's cooking. There is really big pieces, so I just need to turn them, make sure my tagine uh, doesn't get burnt. And voila. course I will add water in a minute I will add water in a minute right I think our tagine it's frying nicely Ooh, it's hot turn it up a little bit All right. All right, I'm gonna now use uh, one cup of water only. So I'm not gonna use a lot of water because the less water you use to this tagine, it, uh, it better is really. So I'm gonna let it cook for about two hours and a half now in this, in its own broth. So I used one cup of water and a half in there. All right, now I let it cook. Okay, my friends, now, meanwhile, our pot is cooking, we're gonna move into making the, making the decorations for our lamb. So here it is. We have the pot, we have a little water in there. So we're gonna add, add that, let it boil, let the water boil for about five. We're gonna add our prunes. You can use either the, the prunes that has the pittle in there or just the prunes like these. These prunes do not have the seed in there, so I'm gonna use just these. That's all I have. Um, you can use also apricots. I'm gonna use that. I have also sesame seed. It's already toasted and ready for decoration. I have one tablespoon of sesame seed and three tablespoons of sugar gonna check on our lamb our lamb has cooked as you see I turned down the heat our lamb looks really good in a minute we will decorate it together right. our water it has boiled so I'm gonna 
add my uh, prunes in there. It really is just gonna be about five minutes. It's not gonna be a really long time. So I'm gonna add my sugar and a little, a little uh, cinnamon, just a little. That's about enough. Cover it and let it cook for about so five see, minutes. See, he's been cooking for about three hours and very low heat. Very, 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 very low heat and it's already ready. So you can tell, you can tell that our meat is ready. You see how it's coming on, coming from, coming apart from the bone. See that? Now you know our meat is ready. Look at that. See that? So I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna aggravate it and so I can decorate it while it's still on the bone. All right, as you see guys, here's my prunes. They're ready, ready to decorate my lamb with. Let's check our meat. Still cooking. Woo. Yeah, it's still cooking. I'm just gonna give it a small flip. A fork to flip it with. Ooh. so it won't dry up. All right. All right. The meat is really ready. So I'm gonna start decorating with y'all my meat. All right, guys, assalamu alaikum. This is my son. He's showing you guys. My tagine is ready. Here's our uh, tagine. I uh, decorated it with uh, sesame seed, roasted sesame seed, and uh, fried almonds and prune. Like whether you like any of those nuts or not, it does accompany it, uh, accompany it very well. Um, I did accompany it with some uh, rice and um, fruits for my kids so all this happening for these people here <laughs> all right you guys enjoy i hope you love and enjoy what you see for more more videos like this please don't forget to share and subscribe and thank you so much from amal's cuisine to yours thank you